Pensioners could be whacked by higher taxes thanks to the government's refusal to do this one thing. Up to 1.5 million British pensioners could be dragged into paying higher tax from this year, as Rachel Reeves plans a major stealth tax hike. The Chancellor is scrambling to find extra sources of cash ahead of the budget so she can fund Labour's manifesto pledges. One move would be to continue the freeze in income tax thresholds, which would raise billions for the Treasury as pay rises and inflation mean more are dragged into the higher rate and top rate of income tax, while not noticing it's the government's fault. However, this policy will also hit as many as 1.5 million pensioners. According to new analysis by wealth management company Qu the threat comes in addition to warnings during the general election that for the first time ever those on the state pension will be dragged into paying income tax for the first time ever. The state pension is currently £11,502, but this is on course to rise by £460 from April 2025, taking those in receipt dangerously close to the current tax threshold of £12,570. A further rise in 2026 would tip millions of pensioners into paying tax for the first time. Charities for older people have now said that Rachel Reeves tax threshold will hurt pensioners who are already trying to stretch their low incomes. Retirees will be forced to find a spare £300 this winter after the government took the controversial decision to strip most pensioners of winter fuel allowance, in addition to rising energy costs and the general cost of living crisis. Tax thresholds have been frozen since 2021, however Labour's manifesto pledged to not raise taxes on working people, something continuing to freeze the rates may breach. The thresholds are not expected to resume rising with inflation again until 2020.